Hello and welcome to the eighth video of my introduction to programming using Java. In this video we're going to be looking on and how to output information to the user and inputting or getting inputs from the user. Do remember in these videos what will happen is I tell you the key points as quickly as possible and then we go through a series of questions so you can cement the information equally quickly. So let's, ha look, let's have a look at the key points for this video. Okay, so the most important thing to remember to input and output is the system class. So you will have to use a number of system class methods to either output information or get information. So if you want to get an input from the user, we would say system.in. To get output, to, to output some information, we would say system.output. And then print. There can be an, a few options after that second dot, which is why we need to have it. So there's not just print, there's a few other things we can do. It's the same with if you want to output an error message. You start with systems, then you say dot er, and then dot print line. So there are a number of options that you can choose from from the second dot. So do remember that's the second point is that there are multiple print methods and these methods change what is output. So if you want to print on the same line, for example, even if you put two lines of code like this, system out print hello and system out print world, it will be displayed on that same line. Where if you use print ln on new line, if we print out these on two different lines, we have two different lines of code, it will output on two different lines. What you, another key point is actually you can put special characters that add, that will format that string into the quotation marks directly. And below the line, I've given you a list of special characters and what they will do. Lastly, even though we, we use system dot in for the input in the input. We cannot just use this to get information. We actually have to create a scanner clan, a scanner class before we use that system.in. So this is something we'll be looking at in the next video. In this video, we're going to be concentrating on outputting that information. Okay, so using that information from the last slide, let's see if we can answer these questions regarding this code. So hopefully you'll pause the video and have attempted to answer these questions. Let's let's go through the answers. So the first one, what will be outputted? So we know we've got the system uh, class and we know we're using the out method, which means output. And we're using this print ln, which means that each time we do it, it'll be a new line. However, we're only printing one string, so that will be on one line. However, another however, we have some special characters. So the first special character means tab. So that will mean that there'll be a big space between the first set and second set of character. The second special character means new line. So we'll actually put the second word on a new line. So that's what will be outputted. Number two. Again, we have the systems, we have the out, and this time we just have print. Now, print means that it'll be on the same line. So we'll have the first one, which is mine, second one, which is name, and third one, which is is, and that will be, all be on the same line. Okay, number three, each, each line has a mistake. So the first one, if we look here, the first one is missing that system dot out dot. So that is the problem here. The second one, you cannot use print within because that means input. So we have to change that from in to out. So system dot out dot print. And the last one, again, it's missing that system. So it should be system dot out and then they would be fine. Uh, do you need to import anything to be able to use the system class? So sometimes if you have a class in another file, you'll have to import that whole folder, that package. However, the system, you can just write systems and you do not need to import anything. 
So you can just write this out and it will work. Last one, why do we need to use capital S for systems? So this is the way that in Java we store this information. So you'll see that in some, in some data types, most of them are lowercase like int. However, in others, like string will have a capital S. So this is just Java storing that information in a different way. So with any kind of class or object, we always use a capital S. So let's check your understanding of the information. So if you're able to uh, remember all the keywords from the video, then I think you have a good understanding of what we've covered today. If you can actually remember all those special characters that can be used in a string, you have a, a, a much better understanding. If you can explain when you would use that system.er.print line, um, please leave a comment because that's the best understanding you can get so, of this video. If you enjoy learning um, with these videos, please subscribe to the channel. And if you thought this video was useful, please like it. Um, if you wish to continue learning, so next video we'll be talking about scanners, the scanner class, and how we use it to get information from the user. So if you're interested in that, I'll see you in the next video.